Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to take a look at how we can create this hero section inside of Bubble using Flexbox. Flexbox helps us to uh, make a landing page responsive for not one screen size but many screen size. As you can see here, it uh, automatically resizes and becomes responsive to a particular screen size which is really uh, cool and saves a lot of time so let's go ahead inside of the bubble editor so for this i'm going to go ahead and drop in a group on the page and i'm going to uh, change it to column and rename this to hero section so the next thing that we want to do is uh, centralize it and uh, since we will be taking the entire page, we will be obviously using uh, the entire page. So we don't need a uh, minimum width. So I'm going to remove that and uh, remove the minimum width as well. Okay. So for the top margin, I'm going to uh, keep it as 116. Um, as you can see that... Uh, let's give a height of 150 for now so as you can see the hero uh, group hero is this particular group and it has a space of 116 from here towards the top so uh, so this way it doesn't clash with the header section because it's a floating group so that is uh, nice and take bring in another a group inside of uh, group heroes I'm just going to drop it down over there and uh, let's go ahead and rename this to inner hero so now let's go ahead and switch this to row because we'll be working with the row situation where we have content on one side and image on the next so row really helps with uh, this formatting and let's go ahead and remove uh make this element fixed width and the minimum width let's remove that and minimum height also we don't need but we do need a fit a height to uh content that's definitely needed and top and bottom of uh the group in a hero is needed and we are going to give it 50 for each because we'll be needing some space for the top and bottom of the group so now i'm just going to centralize it as well so that's sorted so now let's go ahead and give this a uh, minimum height as well so that we can drop a group inside of this easily and now i'm just going to drag and drop it right there so now before forgetting let's go ahead and remove that the height from here and we also did give a little bit of height over here as well so let's remove that so we were here and this will be the content uh, which is the uh, title and the subtitle so let's go ahead and rename it to group content and again for this we are going to switch it to column because it's like one below the other and again i'm going to switch to uh, vertical alignment which is uh, i have centered it and i'm going to remove uh, make this element fixed width so let's remove that as well and let's go ahead and opt for fit with the content and let's remove the height of this as well so now we have to add in another group which is called group inner content so uh, where the group inner content will have the text subtitle and the image so let's go ahead and give it a certain height of 100 and min height also of 100 uh, min width so let's go ahead and place the group inside of this group so there we go so before we do anything, let's go ahead and remove uh, the height and the width of it. And I'm going to rename this as well to group inner content. And for group inner content, I'm going to switch to column and I'm going to centralize it as well. 
let's go ahead and re remove the um, make this element fixed width so now let's go ahead and clear out the min width and the min height as it will uh, take the width and the height of the content that we put inside of the group so now again let's go ahead and put in a height and a width for now and later we can remove it uh, so i'm just going to drop in a text so yeah so now i have a text right here so i'm just going to copy it from a notepad onto bubble editor and i'm just going to duplicate this as well and uh, yeah so that is uh, there so let's go ahead and do some styling to it so i'm just going to rename this as uh, text title and text subtitle okay so as for title i'm going to remove the default style provided i'm going to add in another font of choice play regular regular yes and let's do a 60 60 with black font and now let's go ahead and enable the rich uh, text editor and I want to to have a green um, color to it so i'm just going to select a random color from here so what that does is it has uh, this color code so here you can apply any color of your choice so now i'm just going to apply the color that i want and there we go it's it's a really nice uh, green and do okay over to layout i'm going to remove uh, the make this element fixed width and i'm going to remove that as well but the fit height will stay but i'll be removing the uh, min height of it so uh the title is sorted so let's go ahead and uh, change the subtitle um, style let's go ahead and remove the style and for this let's do laura regular and i'm going to do something about 17 and 1.5 and let's go ahead over here and uncheck that remove the minimum height of it i mean width of it and the height as well since we want some gap between the title and the subtitle i'm going to select the subtitle add a margin of uh, 20 pixels so that gives a gap and another thing that we want to do is actually we'll come back to it in a bit uh, what we'll be doing is adding a 10 pixel put to the left and right for title and uh, subtitle but before we're doing that uh, we'll see how it looks without 10 pixels on each side okay so it looks like uh, we have uh, completed the content part of it okay that looks good so it looks like we have completed the content part of things so now let's go ahead and drop in another group inside of a uh, group in a hero or for the image uh, section so let's go ahead and drop in a group I'm just going to drop it over there okay so now i'm just going to uh, rename this to group image and I'm going to remove the style so that we have an option called background style. Here you can add 
uh, the flat color gradient and image. So uh, for now, I'm going to add in an image, a static image. Okay, we are uploading the image. And there it is. So now I'm going over to layout and selecting it as column. And the minimum width of it is uh, 600. And I'm going to uh, change this to 450. It looks good. Okay, that looks good. I mentioned earlier uh, this hero section, which we centralized it earlier. Uh, that's why uh, we have certain amount of space. Uh, we have 70 pixel on the right side and about more or less the same 70 pixel on the left side as well. So let's go ahead and close that, uh, the other page, and let's go ahead and preview it. So there we go. So it looks really nice. So let's go ahead and check the responsiveness of that of this page so it works really well so let's go ahead and opt for a phone size and as you can see when it's selected uh, when I've selected any phone of choice we don't have certain amount of space both on the left and right I mean on the right side we do have but not so much on the left side so let's go ahead and give some space on the left side. So let's go ahead and select the title. And I'm going to uh, opt for 10 now. And that looks good. And the right side, let's do, I mean, for the subtitle also, let's do 10. Okay, let's go ahead and refresh it. Yeah, this looks way better and yeah, it looks really nice. That actually looks pretty good. So there you go. So this is how you create a really nice responsive uh, hero section inside of Bubble using Flexbox, which will work on any screen size. Of your choice and it's really super simple so i hope you learned something from this video and i will see you in the next one thank you